Pay close attention. The painting I will show you now has two hidden elements. Two things that have been hidden for more than 350 years, but now came to the surface. It's time to know everything about girl reading a letter at an open window. What can these mysterious things be? Secrets? Subliminal messages? Alien symbols? Looks like we have some mysteries to unravel in today's video. Are you ready? Here we go! Girl Reading a Letter at an Open Window is one of the most beloved works by the Dutch painter Johannes Vermeer. This painting is one of the first in this style, which depicts people in domestic and intimate activities. Vermeer was an expert on this matter, a painter who could execute such scenes of everyday life in an unparalleled poetic way. Here, the painter presents us with a quiet and reflective scene where a young woman reads a letter. She is in a high-ceilinged, well-lit, and organized room, a typical Vermeer scenario as he painted domestic settings like no other. At first, we can tell the woman is the main focus of the painting and all the eyes go on her immediately. There used to be a rumor that this woman was Vermeer's wife, Katharina Bolnes, but this has never been confirmed. If that was the case, he was a <laughs> lucky man. Anyway, we have several exciting details to observe in Girl Reading a Letter at an Open Window, and they will help us to solve this mystery. Shall we try? Let's start with a bowl of fruit on the table. It's not just any bowl, but a wan li, imported from China. In it are peaches, plums, and large apples. Notice that one of the peaches is cut in half, with the cut part exposed to the viewer. It's possible to say that here, the fruits represent passion and desire, but we still don't know how to fit these adjectives in the actual context. But you'll understand soon enough, don't worry, as the story unfolds itself. These fruits look absolutely so delicious, I would eat them. The bowl of fruit is important for the scenario composition as it creates a separation from the viewer, along with a folded rug, giving some definition to the space of the painting. The rug over the table and the curtain are placed in the foreground. This combination functions as a repoussoir for the painting, that is, a compositional barrier to make it difficult to see the background space. The curtain is even closer to the viewer than the figure so it gives the effect that it isn't part of the room and that is beyond the foreground. It's almost as if the curtain were pulled aside to reveal an image that until then was hidden. This positioning technique that Vermeer uses is the trompe l'oeil, which creates an optical illusion that objects are in three dimensions. I have to make this brief observation about the colors in the painting. Ultramarine is one of Vermeer's trademarks, and girl reading a letter at an open window wouldn't be different. Here, this mesmerizing blue tone is mixed with white lead, appearing in the window frame and on the tablecloth. Ugh, oh, it's fascinating. Now let's look at the reflection of the woman in the window. What do you see? Yes, it shows a little more of her face, but note that her posture has been altered, as it doesn't match the position she is standing in. I mean, if the window actually reflected her, we would see a smaller woman on her back. I don't know why Vermeer did such a thing, but he purposely let the reflection look different and made only a few simple touch-ups to complete. There is also symbolism in the position the woman is in, absorbed in reading in front of the window. Notice how she seems to have her thoughts far away, perhaps wishing she were in another world, beyond this window and her domestic environment? What could she be reading in this letter? Is this letter inspiring her to go far away? Many questions can be asked from this, and this is a very common effect in those who observe Vermeer's paintings. Deep reflection. I can't help but mention another very interesting detail. The chair in the background under the window is adorned with lion heads, just like the Spanish chairs that were very common in the Netherlands during Vermeer's time. It gives a certain touch of reality to the painting, doesn't it? Girl reading a letter at an open window was painted between the year 1657 and 1659. In the following century, in 1742, it was acquired for the collection of Prince Friedrich Augustus II and became one of the main works of the Gemeld Gallery in Dresden. Then, in 1979, more than 300 years after its creation, the secret of girl reading a letter at an open window is revealed. The painting was x-rayed, where two covered elements were detected, one of them being an overpainted painting. Can you imagine it? What are these elements? Why were they covered? Where are they? I think we have a mystery to solve on our hands, guys. Well, let's go. Let's take a closer look. Where do you think these elements might be placed? How about this clean wall in the background? Doesn't it seem strange that it's empty without any decoration? 
I think it could be the perfect place to hide a secret. Bingo, we've found the first hidden item. It's on this wall that the x-ray detected the picture of a naked Cupid standing and holding a bow with arrows. At his feet, we can see that there are masks of pretense, symbolizing true love persevering over deception and hypocrisy. Now, let's compare the painting before and after Cupid. How do you feel? Does it seem to have affected the painting positively or negatively? Which one do you prefer? Whatever the answer, we can say that the addition of Cupid transforms the atmosphere of the painting and its meaning for sure. It expands the focus of the image from just the woman to the woman and Cupid. Also, with Cupid in the background, the painting goes from being serious and introspective to something more playful. If you combine some key points of the painting, you might get that one of the messages of girl reading a letter at an open window is about love. You see, we have Cupid on the wall, juicy fruit on the table, and a mysterious letter. Is it by any chance a love letter? This is one more mystery for our list, but unfortunately without an answer. So all we have left is to theorize. Vermeer himself was believed to have covered Cupid because he didn't like the end result of girl reading a letter at an open window. However, this wasn't the case. It was only in 2017, after further evaluation, that they identified that the Cupid cover was made many years after Vermeer's death, probably in a restoration. In other words, hiding things in the painting was not the artist's decision. Well, actually, one of them was. Kind of. But do you know where this second hidden item might be? If you answer that it's behind the curtain, then you got it right. They found there a Romer, a traditional big Dutch fancy glass from that time. According to the x-ray, the Romer size was larger than the figure of the woman. Wow, a big glass indeed. Unfortunately, we can't see it like the Cupid because it's covered by the green curtain and was never restored. Then you might wonder, why was only one secret item restored and the other not? It's a good question. Well, unlike the Cupid case, the people responsible for the restoration of the painting believe that the Romer wasn't part of the original composition, so it didn't need to be saved. They also claim that the position of the Romer doesn't seem proportional to the rest of the picture. In the end, with all of that, they conclude that this second mystery item was made before the painting, maybe when it was still only a draft or sketch of another idea of the painter. This restoration process of girl reading a letter at an open window was completed in early 2021, and after it, the painting gained a fresh look and at the same time recalled the truly original roots and concept. No one knows why someone wanted to cover Cupid in one of the restorations or who did it, but restoring this painting to its true essence is also a way to honor Johannes Vermeer's marvelous work. Overall, Girl Reading a Letter at an Open Window follows the usual Vermeer style of color and composition. Soft colors, textures, and light contrasts are emphasized with skill and flair. Of course, the hidden items in the painting and its other details create an enigmatic atmosphere which sharpens our interpretation and curiosity in a good way. So, did you enjoy playing detective with girl reading a letter at an open window? What are your thoughts about the mysteries involved in this painting? Some questions are left open, but hey, this is a Vermeer painting. And a Vermeer painting always invites you to reflect on what you're seeing, seeking new questions and new answers. If you want to know more about mysterious paintings with hidden secrets, please subscribe to our channel, leave your like on the video, and also turn on the notifications. See you soon!